in my view the driving force was a combination of state leadership and the city leadership city leadership in terms of mayor and the city commissioner and the state leadership at the secretary level so they okay. played a very very critical role but uh, let me also highlight the point that the leadership uh, came to a common understanding because of the evidence that uh, institutions like ASCII has generated over a period of 4 to 5 months and mm. to show them how water bodies and how public health was getting affected because of uh, unregulated fecal sludge management systems so one of the key things that we found that was a really a driver or a catalyst for change was establishing making sure there's absolute clarity in the mandate of the government there's not enough time to talk about that now but that was a large amount of work that was done just because it de-risked the architecture de risk the environment for both the contractor or the the entrepreneur to involve to get involved and for um, the local government because they knew it was it was their responsibility as well the institutional regulatory framework so that was approved by uh, ministry last year so that was the same as in for us to motivate the city authority to uh, manage the land for our treatment plan in three cities so already we have started uh, you know work there but my my you know, uh, message is that if you want to uh, introduce uh, the FSM service in, in, in full scale in the city, Dhaka, so you need an appropriate regulatory institution framework. And of course, the citywide plan, and that uh, is helpful for the investor IFIs. Uh, so uh, there will be the appropriate financing mechanism. And another thing, if you want to establish you know, the effective service delivery, so you need a separate unit within the city.